Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would share with you a few things. Um, I have a little bit of time today to film. It is not the best day weather-wise. It's pouring rain outside, so it's really gloomy. So the lighting's going to be off a little bit. And um, I'm just doing stuff around the house, so I've got kind of crazy second day hair. But um, this is my only day that I can film, and I wanted to share a few things with you. So we're just going to go with it. And I don't have anything on my lips because the first thing I'm going to talk about is for the lips. Um, and I, I will start off by saying this was sent to me. So I was contacted by City Beauty, who sells City Lips, which is a plumping lip gloss, among other things they sell. They sell City Lips, which is a plumping lip gloss, which I have seen all over social media for probably several months now, maybe, maybe even longer. And I've thought about ordering it, and I've kind of gone back and forth. Um, and I haven't ordered it and they contacted me and said hey could we send you some would you be willing to try it so I said yes and the gist of this is it's a plumping lip gloss um, that has hyaluronic acid in it and some other things but the um, it has hyaluronic acid spheres um, some other peptide technology ho jojoba oil and some ylang ylang flower oil and this is supposed to plump the lips um, initially and then over time it will help keep them fuller and normally I don't like a plumping lip gloss that is super burning, like it burns a lot. I can't, there's a couple of them I've tried that I can't really wear because I don't, I don't like that burning sensation. Um, and this one you get a little of that initially, I will say. Um, but it definitely gave me fuller lips. And it says if you use it twice a day um, that those results are going to kind of last longer. And I will say that it definitely does what it says. So I thought I would pull, they sent me the clear one. I thought I would put a little on, and then you can kind of see how it looks. This one is clear, and it's, um, here, let me get a little mirror out so I don't get it all over my face. It, um, it's really glossy. I love how the hyaluronic acid or whatever's in it, like, smooths the lips, makes the lips look really smooth. And I like to get it close to the edges since it's plumping. I want to get it all over the lips. Um, and I don't have anything else on. I will say, so it's super shiny as you can see. And then you probably aren't going to be able to notice on video the plumping. Maybe you will. So where I notice it the most, definitely across the top of my lip, um, feels fuller and those little lines across the top of my lip it it plumps up the skin there so they look much much better and um, like in these corners that's another area where I see it looking fuller so when I put on a liner it you know you can actually see the liner there because it it almost I don't know it plumps all the skin here and I don't know if it's all the oils in here the peptides in here the hyaluronic acid the combination of all of that but the other thing I like about it is, it is slightly minty, but it's not, like I don't feel like I have a minty gloss on. It's not cooling on the lips like the Buxom glosses are. You know how some of the Buxom glosses feel actually cooling on the lips? I don't get that sensation. When you first put it on, you do get a little tingling, like I get a little tingling around the edges. Um, and then what it says is that after two or three minutes, you can put your... Um, like your lipstick or whatever over it and then you just have a fuller looking mouth so I've been wearing this for a few days and I have to say I think it's really really good and so I've been trying to put it on at least twice a day I'm gonna keep doing it if you read the reviews there's a lot of reviews that say you know after a couple weeks you know people actually said to the person did you get you know did you get some filler or whatever now I don't think my lips are gonna look like I got filler but if it could help keep them smooth, and I do love the way it feels um, on my lips, I'm all about it. I like that. So they did send this to me, um, but I like it so much that I ordered a couple of them. It does come in colors, so I ordered a couple of the shimmering ones just so I can have other things because I want to try and wear it all the time to see kind of what it's going to deliver for me. It's only $35. Um, I get nothing for, you know, talking about it or whatever, except that they sent it to me for free. Um, but I will put a link to them below if you want to go check it out. It's called City Lips. 
um, and you probably have seen it because like I've seen it all over social media um, and I can st my lips are tingling a little bit um, yeah I would say like tingling mostly on the edges I think if your lips are super dry you're gonna feel it a little bit more but they're super super smooth and um, it's not sticky like I don't feel like my lips are sticking together you know you're not I'm not getting those you know strings between my lips or anything and uh, yesterday while I was working I did put after about five minutes or so I did put my lipstick on over this and my lipstick still were fine so I thought I would talk about it you should try this if you want fuller lips or your lips to look fuller or you like that kind of fuller lip look um, super super nice love it they also sent me some masks which I tried and I really loved now these are new product for them which I don't think you can even buy yet but I thought I would give you my initial thoughts on them because I did try one of them so they're just like a sheet mask however um, it's not paper it's a biocellulose mask um, it's biocellulose texture of the mask um, these are meant to hydrate the skin smooth the look of fine lines and wrinkles and naturally protect the skin using a high concentration of cell young ice plant callus extract and hyaluronic acid serum I enjoyed this mask very much um, it's that sort of thicker uh, texture I don't know if you've ever used a cell like cellulose mask it's nice it sticks to the skin really well so I like that so you can kind of do some other things um, while you're masking um, and one of the things about using that type of material instead of a paper mask is it, it actually delivers more to the skin I think it says something in here about that um, the revolutionary material combined with the extract and the hyaluronic acid delivers three times more skin loving ingredients than a traditional pa paper mask would so you're getting more into the skin which is going to deliver more results for you I don't know how much these are going to be because um, they're not for sale yet it comes in a pack of five but you guys know I love a sheet mask this was really really nice this is something I would definitely continue to buy to have in my weekly mask uh, my my weekly mask basket to you so I really like I also this thought I would well. share with you today some new things that I have that I'm loving and then one other thing that I love that I've talked about in the past but it hasn't been available and now it's available again so let's jump into some new favorites we're talking about um, skincare so I'm gonna stick with that so I tried a new serum I'll call it a serum because that's the step it goes from Kiehl's um, and this is a relatively new product from Kiehl's it is called the nightly refining micro peel concentrate comes in like a green bottle and this you use like a serum but it is um, it has a exfoliating chemical exfoliating effect on the skin I've been using this every day it says it's gentle enough to use every day and I will tell you it makes my skin feel so soft I love it and um, definitely um, a easier price point for a lot of people you know I've been trying to find things that work really really well but aren't crazy expensive and this is really great it's just a liquid comes with a um, it's just a re really light liquid um, almost it's not really oily it um, it has like a little bit of a medicinal type of smell Kiehl's products aren't overly fragranced or anything like that which is one of the things I like about them Kiehl's tends to just put the things in them that you know you need to uh, make it work so uh, let's see if I can read it clinically clinically demonstrated to help accelerate surface skin cell turnover and reveal fresher newly radiant skin while visibly evening skin tone and refining the feel of rough texture over time love I use it every day if you're using another serum I would use this first and then put your serum over it and then use your moisturizer that's kind of what I've been doing I was a little nervous that I wouldn't be able to use it every day um, but I use this every night on my skin my skin is so smooth and soft I think my pores look a little bit better than they have in a while love and um, it's one ounce I think it's 60 I think it runs $60 but it's awesome awesome and this will last a while because I use like three drops there's plenty to go over all my whole face and neck and it is not irritating on my neck at all so loving that the other thing I don't think I talked about is I bought the Tarte um, Aspen Ovard I don't know who that is I'm assuming it's a 
some person in the beauty community that that tart palette which I love so it is eyeshadows um, what do we got nine shadows a blush and a highlighter it's very neutral very everyday wear and I think it's amazing I like tart shadows not everybody loves them but I do it has let's see one two three four five one two three four five mattes and four shimmers and then the blush is matte and then the highlighter is a sheen I actually love the blush as well in the crease so these make great this makes a great eye look as well but um, I do love the Tarte products this one if you like a supernatural eye look um, or you like those blushy tones it's kind of in the neutral neutral warm but not super warm family I really love this I've been using it all the time if you like those supernatural looks but it's got a couple of deep shades <clears throat> deep enough for me I have the sun today I love it um, it's sort of a great everyday I could travel with this for a weekend because you know you got your blush here too if you really um, you know want to take it to that level you could just take this one thing and I love that the Tarte palettes are very um, travel friendly now because of the mirror there you know a lot of them now are done in the hard plastic so I love this and I highly recommend that as well um, I also found a lipstick and I don't want to I don't know maybe I'll put it on over this so you guys know I love a good warm nude lip <clears throat> and I've bought a couple of these now I love this shade this is one of the Smashbox lipsticks I love the formula of them and this one is in the color Famous, which is what you always see on me. It's a, it's a beautiful warm nude. So if you're looking for a peachy nude, this is really nice. I wear it almost every single day now. It's perfect. It's the perfect peachy nude if you like a peachy nude. Um, and the Smashbox is a nice price point as well. I love the formula. It's very hydrating. It stays on nicely. It's not a long wear, but it stays on really nicely for me. <clears throat> and it's a nice... Um, relatively small package if you like to throw it in a little bag or something or your pocket um, I've been loving this color I could put it on yeah maybe we'll put it on over my um, I just stuck my nail in the palette I hate when that happens um, yeah that's gonna be hard to get out of there like I really dug it into my nail <laughs> oh well um, okay so let's put this on so you guys can see it on It's a gorgeous color. I don't know if the lighting in here, what you're gonna, what it's gonna look like. See, when I look in the mirror, like my lips are seriously looking fuller because my lips have really um, deflated, for lack of a better word, with age. Yeah, and see, the lipstick lays nicely on it, but you still get that sheen through. The lipstick which I really love um, so that's really nice the last thing I want to talk about is you guys have heard me talk about this Guerlain fragrance many times I get asked all the time about some of my favorite fragrances and this one is this is probably my fourth it's either my fourth or fifth bottle of this fragrance that's how much I love it and it is by Guerlain and it's one of the um, elixir charnel fragrances and it is the fragrance gourmand coquin that's the name of the fragrance. This is not available everywhere that Guerlain is. You sometimes have to find it in a Guerlain boutique, which has even been hard to do. Um, my last bottle I got from Canada because you couldn't find it anywhere in the States at all. Um, I tried the boutique in Vegas. I tried the boutique at Disney World. I couldn't get it anywhere. So this bottle is actually from Canada. Um, and I was in a panic because I thought it was being discontinued but it is back and we have it in the store. So for those of you who haven't um, heard me talk about this fragrance before, um, it is, it's what I would consider my signature scent because I wear it so often. Um, it's a beautiful scent. It is a boozy scent, so, um, but when I say boozy, it is on the light side of boozy. It's not a heavy, um, it's not a heavy scent but it is enough fragrance that you're going to smell it all day and people will smell it on you all day. It's got rum in it. It's got um, some cocoa in it. It's got pepper in it. Um, in the winter time, I tend to smell more of the um, 
cocoa and the rum and um, you know there's some amber in here and a little bit of vanilla um, so it is a little sweet it's not that sicky little girl sweet and in the winter time there's also some rose in here and when it's hot out the rose comes forward a little more for me but not not that it's a floral because it is not a floral um, it's hard to pick up the rose for me except when I'm wearing it and it's really hot then I'll get a hint of that rose but otherwise for me it's like this rummy rummy chocolatey um, spicy scent there's a little pepper in it so you do get that hint of pepper but it is beautiful and um, it's available again which makes me very very happy I've kind of been um, you know trying to save this a little bit because I wasn't sure I was ever gonna be able to get it again but it's back now so I'm all about it and um, I love it it comes in this is the only size it comes in it's two and a half ounces it is on the pricier side it runs 260 <clears throat> but um, it's a beautiful scent and it, it now comes in beautiful comes in a beautiful um, like leather box I don't know if it's real leather but it's a big box with the Guerlain lion on the front um, it's beautiful if you have wanted to get it and haven't been able to find it or whatever we've got it back in stock again I'll put a link below or if you want to contact me to get it I am happy to send it to you um, it's beautiful we carry um, the other um, elixir scents from Guerlain now which we haven't in the past so I'm very very happy about that I mean I can't get enough of this scent so I wanted to and I've talked about it many times and then you guys couldn't get it so I wanted to let you know we have it again yay um, so that is it for today um, sorry my hair is kind of crazy and it's the lighting is terrible but I had time to film and I wanted to share some of my new finds with you guys um, Hopefully you find that, found this helpful. If you have any questions about any of the items I talked about, I'm happy to answer them. Um, I will link the City Lips stuff, or if you have questions about that, I'll put. Um, you can ask them, and I will try to get to the comments as quickly as I can as well. So that is it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all again soon.